everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. We're very much conscious that some students may be feeling unsure about coming back into school, which is completely understandable. So I want to take you on a brief tour of the building and show you all different things that we've put in place to make sure we can welcome staff and students safely into the building. We've had yellow lines which are split uh, apart by two metres painted on the uh, floor of the drive from our Rockwell's entrance and also from uh, the front drive gate up to the school. And when students come into school, they'll be met by a member of the senior leadership team. Here is Miss Moss and all our pupils will have their temperature checked on entrance to the school. We might feel a little bit disconcerting potentially, but we've spoken to a good number of our parents who said that actually that offers them some reassurance. At both entrances to the school, the Rockwoods and the front drive entrance, we've got hand washing stations, which means that as soon as the students come into school, uh, or staff, or any time they re-enter the building, there's an expectation that they will uh, wash their hands and that they will use hand sanitizer as well. The thing that students will notice as soon as they come into the building is that we're operating a one-way system and there are stickers and we really hope that yellow is your colour uh, are right the way around the school and um, are split at two metre distances. I'm just going to take you now into the dining hall where you'll see we've got our canteen set out with tables at socially distanced uh, intervals and we know that we can comfortably seat all the students that we're expecting in from year seven, eight and nine for their one-to-one -one interviews and any students in from year 10 and year 12. We'll move on now into our hall, our main hall. And again, the same principle as in the canteen. We've got seating for students for their one-to-one -one interviews, spaced out at two metre intervals, probably slightly generous there actually, more than two metres. And again, you'll see that we've got the one-way system in operation. And one of the things that we've been stressing to students and to staff when they've been in is that the pace of life and the pace of walking is significantly slower than they would be during a normal uh, school day. Because we're only opening uh, certain areas of the building, it means that our cleaning staff, who are doing an absolutely fantastic job, have ample time to keep rooms disinfected and with us only opening on Monday to Thursdays for year 10 and year 12 students, it means that Fridays can be used every week for a deep clean. In each of the classrooms that we're using, you'll notice that a significant number of uh, desks have been removed. And again, in light of the two metre social distancing regulations, you'll see that with just the right number of desks in the classroom and chairs to make sure that we can meet those two metre guidelines comfortably. You'll also notice that around the building, any of the rooms that are being used for teaching, the doors are being kept open on a permanent basis to make sure that we minimise the number of times that the door handles need to be used. We're back in the canteen again, just to let you know that uh, for all our year 10 and year 12 students, when they come into school, they will be given a free lunch and a free breakfast. And one of the reasons behind that is we uh, don't want to use our biometric um, fingerprint technology. We would normally upload money to students' accounts to make sure we're nice and safe there. Finally, we understand that these are very uncertain times and I want to take this opportunity to reassure you that as a staff and governing body, we've taken every precaution necessary to make sure that every time your son or daughter comes into the building, that they are absolutely safe and can do some great learning while they're here. Thanks very much and take care and stay safe.